Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video about um, um, watercolours and today we are going to be looking at different techniques about blending watercolour and watercolour pencil techniques uh, the first thing I'm going to do for you is very very quickly I'm going to blend two colours with the watercolour pencils I'm using Caran d'Ache uh, these are really good pencils and if you can get hold of them they're really good so I've got two colours there I'm just going to do a quick blend for you just demonstrate for you first so start with plenty of pressure I'm going to get lighter when you come down here that's good my pencils are always nice and sharp now I'll get a different colour I'm going to start nice and darker this way and we're going to go up towards the other bit where it's lighter and we're going to overlap and that's how we get a nice blend it's dry colour is okay I don't know if you can see that it's quite far away actually looking at that but you get the idea so plenty of pressure and get a little bit softer okay let's get towards each other all right so that's dry on dry that one there and the next one we're going to try with these lovely watercolor pencils um we're going to uh, try to blend some other colors with colored pencils so i'll try two other colors this is just so you can get a quick feel for the pencils they're great they're very very soft the colors are lovely and vibrant which is excellent I'm just going to overlap again and this time we're going to introduce a little bit of water you'll notice my watercolor pot is half full don't overfill it for obvious reasons maybe you can work out why and then you can see as soon as i add a bit of water to those colors absolutely fantastic bright colors and again with a little, little bit of water you can blend it and try to do sort of different things with those okay and um, we can we can do some nice swizzling with the brush we'll call this swizzling when we rotate the brush so you get a nice tip on it so you get Swizzle your brush, get a nice tip through the paint, and then you can draw some lovely fine lines with that. I'd like to try doing that, please. That'd be really good. Good practice, good control, good technique. And also, I tend to stick my little finger out. You can see, actually, I've brought my finger at the minute, but you can see my little finger. When I'm painting very, very delicately, I tend to stick my little finger out. That's not to sort of show off and look all flashy, it's basically just to give me balance, and I can stretch over areas that are wet with that so I don't touch that and give me balance with the tip of the brush. So that little finger is very, very important. Okay, so sticking your finger out, we'll call that the arty finger. You can stick that finger out. And also, what I do, I don't know if you can see on the... I tend to put my ha other hand down, and I can rest my hand on that, and that helps to give me some balance as well. It gives you a nice soft cushion. And all you really need to do then is use your fingers to manipulate the brush and move the brush around, okay? Whereas if you don't have that, your hand's often floating or you're stretching, and you haven't always got as much control. So I tend to find resting my hand and working that way really works well for me. Okay, another technique you can try, I've got my watercolour tin here with paints. If you get a colour, wash a little bit of colour straight onto the paper. It's a nice bright sort of purpley pink there. A cerise. And then what you can do with your, again with your pencils, I get a nice dark purple here. You can work back on that, back through that with wet and you can draw all different shapes. Okay, you can try that technique as well, please. Practice that. It's a really nice technique, and then you can work back into that. But don't overwork the paper, because you'll tend to find the paper will start to deteriorate a little bit. It may start getting a little bit damaged. So you've got to know when to stop with watercolours as well. Okay, there's also other techniques you can use, like a little bit of flicking. So you can flick paint around, like so. That can sometimes look quite cool. So you can try that. Just the splashing, but be careful you don't splash it all over your workstation. Okay, and other things you can do is if you use a dry brush, so I'm cleaning my brush off, you just dry it off. I'd use my hands, but you can use a paper towel or something. You actually use that as a sponge and lift colour back off the page. It's quite hard to see, quite far away. You can actually laugh, sorry, um, you can lift watercolour back off the paper with a dry brush. So if you dry your brush, get the tip on it, you can lift colour back off the page where you want it to. Okay, so you can try that as well. Um, and the one I've already already showed you, but we'll just show you in detail here, is if you get some colour, you don't have to use the coloured pencils for this, you can actually, with care, paint letters with your paintbrush. Okay? And that's just your fine skills which you can develop over time. So we practice getting a nice tip on that brush. And just using the tip, you can see my little finger sticking out there for balance. Okay, 
one thing we never do, or I never do, at least with watercolour pencils, is you never stick your watercolour pencil directly into the pot of water. That's a big no-no. Maybe you can have a think about that and tell me why. Off you go.